Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. So, I personally think that Molly and Kinky are, and coarser hair textures are the most easiest to install with crochet braids. Um, just because I don't really need to put that much in. It's got a nice thick grip, so the knots won't um the knots won't loosen. So I only do like two knots with this kind of hair. I'm just gonna go over quickly how I do my knotless technique so what I do is I insert the latch hook underneath the braid close the latch hook I pull it through then put the hair on the left hand side aside and then I tie about two to three knots with the hair on my right hand side and that's how I make it knotless if you do need a more detailed tutorial on how I do the knotless technique. I'm gonna put some um, links for you in the description box. The reason why I don't tend to do it in every single video is because I always use my knotless technique and in some videos I go into detail on how I do it so I don't I don't think there's any point in just repeating the same steps over and over in the same video because then it becomes a bit repetitive. So I'll just be linking other tutorials I've done where I've explained in very much detail um, how to do my knotless technique and how I tie my knots and stuff like that. Okay, so now I'm adding in my conditioner and I'm making sure that the conditioner I use doesn't have any oil in it. So this one is more like water based and I use a very small amount. I don't 
overdo it because a small amount does soften the hair quickly plus if you use a lot then what happens after you blow dry it is that it, it has like a waxy feeling the hair will have a waxy feeling to it which doesn't look or feel good and it might look a bit stiff as well if you put too much of the conditioner so anyway um after you've done it you're going to brush it out um it's better to start from the tips and then work your way up it's easier that way um and then yeah you brush it out and then i'm going to start blow drying it in a minute which you shall see <laughs> So with the blow dryer, I don't use any comb attachment, I don't use any brush. The reason why is because the hair's already thick. So if I'm using a brush with it, it's just gonna like tag um tug and pull on her hair. And I don't want to um I don't want to be doing that to my client first of all, and second of all, it will just make the knots um kind of slip and slide and go out of place if I'm putting too much pressure on it so I just blow dry it without anything from tip to root and it also makes it blow dry quite quickly as well this way then after that I, blow, I brush it out which you guys will see in a sec <laughs> Okay, so this part is optional I'm just blow drying it again just to kind of bring it down a little bit more if you're already happy with the texture it's, it is before then you can leave it as it is but I just wanted to kind of make it a tiny bit straighter but I left the roots quite kinky so that it has that kinky straight look to it <laughs> 